It is now my distinguished honor to introduce Rich Fitzgerald, County Executive of Allegheny County, and a leader in the region in economic development and job creation. Rich? Thank you, Greg. And it is a delight for me to be here from, uh, from Pittsburgh and Allegheny County. Um, I've just got elected last year to County Executive, but I had been on County Council before that for 12 years, and I worked with Pam over all those years. And I can tell you what a leader she is and has been in, as a county commissioner. And knowing what we need in Harrisburg is somebody that really understands what goes on in the communities, in local government, whether it be for our local roads, whether it be for education, whether it be for economic development, Marcellus Shale obviously, how to deal with that very, very complex issue and how to make sure that it benefits all of us. Pam knows that. I've served with Pam on the SPC, Southwestern Pennsylvania Commission, and uh, I can tell you, not only does she understand the issues, but she really represents her district and her community very well. And I guess I got to tell one story that uh, might reflect upon that just a little bit. Don't worry, Pam, you'll be all right. You know, the hotshot guy from Pittsburgh who's on TV all the time, you'd think he would get all this publicity, and when they're electing the county commissioner or county leader of the year, they would give it to him, right? He's on TV all the time. He's the big shot from Pittsburgh. But no, they gave the County Commissioner of the Year Award to some woman from Greene County. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter, Pam. That's why. But no, they couldn't have given it to anybody who was more deserving than that. And I think it just goes to show what Pam has done in her service as Commissioner to Greene County and what she has done for the community. And it really is that caring of the community, a family person, someone who understands our issues here in Western Pennsylvania and the things that we need. What do we need? We need jobs. But you know what? Since Pam's been county commissioner, Greene County is one of the leading counties in job creation. No small part to the work that she has done. The work that she has done in partnering with all of us, partnering with the county commissioners in Washington County, certainly us in Allegheny County, in Fayette County, in Beaver County, and all the western communities of the SPC, dealing with the complex issues we have, whether it be the prison system with SCI in Waynesburg, whether it be with the educational system and how to deal with property tax. How do we all deal with that very complex issue? Pam gets it. She understands it. In fact, I'm always glad that I'm always able to call Pam and get some good advice that I can use on some of the issues that we handle in, in, uh, in Allegheny County. Because her expertise, her experience is something that we need. You know, these times are too difficult and too critical for on-the-job training. Well, there will be none of that for Pam. Because she knows everybody up there. She knows her way around the halls of Harrisburg. And I can tell you, it's a confusing place to go to. And somebody's had to spend some time up there. I, I still get lost up there. And I don't mean lost physically. I mean lost politically. But Pam knows her way. She knows how to navigate through those issues and bring back the things that the district needs in Green, Fayette, and Washington County. I am so proud to, to support her and to help her, she's going to do an absolutely terrific job. And she is absolutely what we need in the legislature to bring a little common sense to that place that doesn't always have enough of it. She's proved it throughout her career, her career in government, her career in private industry, and her career with uh, and, and, and being a family person. So I am so proud to come down and support Pam. She's going to do a great job, and I'm looking forward to go and visit her in the Capitol Rotunda next year in Harrisburg. My good friend, our county commissioner, Pam Snyder.